strange after effects. It's from, so that, just a little twit, little tip. I, I, I knew that, but I was so excited I forgot. <laughs> So you can talk if you, if you know something. Uh, so, so there's me. Um, we, we actually, Brent and I got acquainted through a company called Acme Packet. Sadly, was acquired by Oracle. We can all do Oracle here, right? Um, I, I managed to survive that acquisition. I never got to meet Larry. I did notice he was about 70 levels above me on the org chart. And after leaving Oracle, I very happily started my own business, which is helping companies with social media, digital marketing, content. But please don't call me a social media expert. There's this, this use of the word social media expert for some reason. Uh, I've been tweeting furiously. I'm up to about 332,000 maybe by the end of the evening. I can get another couple hundred tweets in, so you can kind of help me put me over the top. A couple hundred, um, that's nothing. Right, that's just, that's just that an evening. We breakfast, please. So a lot of us here are in, in customer-facing roles in sales and biz dev and alliances and marketing and product <laughs> marketing. And so there is a question that's all, often asked is, what's the value of all this? I mean, why are we generating all this buzz and noise and, and this uh, uh, community around the heart of business hashtag? And th there's some, some really interesting work around B2B selling and marketing and some analysis of the value of Twitter for social selling and social marketing. And really, this is an IBM study. I encourage you to take a look. Twitter is now surpassing LinkedIn as a source of lead generation. So brands like IBM and others are investing a lot of resources in Twitter specifically to build uh, relationships, to build communities of interest, to reach out to analysts, to journalists, to thought leaders, and increasingly to CIOs and CXOs and, and decision makers who are becoming more and more social over time. So there's kind of a rhyme or a method behind all the madness here around tweeting and posting and sharing and blogging. And I encourage you to, to get active, you know, read that, that IBM piece and learn more about the value of social for your own purposes, whether you're a sales rep, whether you're in the business of relationships or partnering, there is some value you can take away uh, from, from social media. I actually spent 25 years living on the left-hand side here, you know, doing the traditional things around cold calling and presentations and demos and inbound and outbound, and I'm sure many of, of you are doing that same thing, but I'd encourage you to think more about how to live on the right-hand side here in terms of educating, uh, entertaining in some cases, engaging with an audience, even an audience that might even not be familiar to you, you know, an extended community on Twitter, for example, and leveraging not only social networks that you might be familiar with, like LinkedIn, everyone's on LinkedIn, but increasingly Twitter and, you know, in the next five years, let's say Snapchat. And living in this intersection of these circles, uh, which, you know, we call social selling. And increasingly, there's another circle that's kind of beginning to overlay on these three, and that has to do with storytelling. And if you notice, Snapchat recently walked away with a billion dollars and a multi-billion dollar valuation. That valuation wasn't a function of a cool messaging app or fun or funny filters or you know interesting uh, use you know use cases with millennials. It had to do with people telling their story on Snapchat and brands being able to engage with those stories and tell stories of their own. So I'd encourage you to think about what stories you can tell in the context of this event, and also as you, you know, as you progress through your career. And I'll be around just to take some more tweets and snaps and pictures and hopefully tell a few stories tonight. Thanks. Okay, so listen, we're, uh, we've, I think we've, uh, we, we wanna stretch our leg. We're at the seventh inning stretch. Uh, this is the, uh, the